What does American food look like in other countries? Let's talk about that. Good Mythical Morning. And happy 2200th episode of Good Mythical Morning. We two, did two. it. Whoa, whoa. Two, two. Whoa, whoa. Two, two. Whoa, whoa. Two, two. Whoa, whoa. Episodes. And it still feels like only yesterday we were subjecting ourselves to utterly embarrassing acts like eating birthday cakes for dogs just to get clicks. I think that was yesterday. Oh, but right. nevertheless, whether you started watching on episode one or on episode two, one, nine, nine. 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 Yeah. I'm uh, catching on. Thank you for making us a part of your daily routine. Yes, thank, thank you. you. We appreciate it. And now, America, the beautiful, the land of the free, and the epicenter of supersized greasy fried cuisine. Now, that sounds like an oversimplification. But that's also how we like it, y'all. We Americans have done our fair share of inventing dishes and saying it's from another country. Yes, we're very much guilty of that. Mm -hmm. But today we're exploring the opposite. What do other countries serve up and call American style? It's time for What Do Other Countries Think America Tastes Like? A deep fried barbecued Klondike? That sounds about right. We want to give a shout out to Katie Hemming 24. Katie Hemming 24, we saw your suggestion. We thought it was a great idea. And now we are taking full credit for it. <laughs> this was our idea to do this episode. Uh, well, no, I think you, we actually just gave Katie credit thank for you, it. Thank you, Katie. Uh, yes. And here's how this is going to go Stevie's going to present us with a series of snacks and dishes from around the world, which have been labeled as American, uh -huh. and then we're gonna be asked a series of questions about those dishes. I've also been told that the Mythical Kitchen has worked up some of these foreign American foods for us They're to They're always getting worked up over They're always getting worked up over there. Points will escalate each round and the winner will get a top secret American prize. I'm intrigued. Good gosh, look at these pizzas. Okay boys, in 2019, Papa John's released a pizza in South Korea known as the American pizza. So one of the pizzas in front of you is the exact recreation of that American pizza. The other pizza is just a mythical kitchen concoction, and you're trying to see if you can find the real thing. So the one of these is a Papa John's creation. It's not a misunderstanding. This is blatant lying to South Korea, because I've never seen either one of these. And this one looks like... Well, hold on, but no, but it's not that this is a pizza that Americans would enjoy. It's got stuff from America on it, or at least as those countries interpret America, which I guess chicken and biscuits. This is not chicken. This is a country fried steak. Oh, it's steak. country fried steak. You're right. Country fried... I wonder what they would call it. Well, I mean... It's good, but it's kind of hard to A biscuit to on a pizza is crazy. I don't know why I'm forking crazy a knife good. a biscuit. It's been a while since I've had country fried steak. And that's got that white gravy. Mm-hmm. There's sausage in the in the pizza and gravy part. It's that it's that sausage gravy. Authentic sausage gravy. Now that's amazing. This looks like hot dog, but what's that big slab? Is that a slab of cheese? Is it like a string cheese? It's mashed taters. Hot dog. Some sort of weird. Bright mustard. I thought I was gonna get a melted string cheese in my mouth and I got mashed potatoes. Mashed this potatoes. This is good too. Pizza. This is really good. I love both of them. So it passes. As an American? This American test. We sign off on both of these, Papa John's. So we're, what are we gonna do? Put our hand yeah, over which one? You're gonna put your hand weird? over the one that you think is the actual South Korean recreation. I'm gonna give you a three, two, one. Here we go. Three, two, one. It's, it's gotta, gotta be, be this, this right? Because it's. This, this is too authentic. This seems too obvious to not be the answer. Yeah, you're both right, but let's uh, see an image from their Instagram to see just how close. You guys did great. There's, there, I cannot complain about it. I can't complain about either well, one of these, but I love this. I, what I, you've done with this? I can complain about this one the more I think about it. <laughs> oh, really? It's got mashed potatoes on the pizza, and I don't know why I let you talk me into thinking it was good, and then I really started thinking about it. You're right. Since when do you eat but mashed taters with a hot dog? So, but this is an original mythical kitchen recipe. Yeah, it was just so dialed into the American South in a way that might be difficult to translate all the way to Korea, in a way that they would be able to be like, "Oh, that's American." But you throw hot dogs and mashed potatoes, like, "Oh yeah, Americans, those crazy Americans." 
Boom, 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 boom. Is there a rhythm that you're playing? I kind of gave up because. Are you in your own world? I forgot which one was the deeper one. The boom, big one. Boom, 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 boom. No matter how high I try to go, it's the same note. I shouldn't have started. What are we doing with all this mayonnaise, also, Stevie? Usually when you like play things like drums, you let those things make the sounds, you know? Oh, no, but, we don't let mayonnaise make sounds around here. No. Yeah, yeah. Americans don't do that. And Americans are also known for our supersizing tendencies. You see how I tied that in? Maybe that's why grocery stores in Finland... Carry a jar of Hellman's mayo, boldly labeled as American size. Now, these all say real on them, Rhett. Mm -hmm. And that's because it's, well, it's a, Finland is real. It's because the Finnish, uh, who don't exist, are trying to play a little trick on us to make the, us think that they're real. But look really, at, it's just mayonnaise. Look at how freaking big this is. What would you do with this much you, mayonnaise? Can you stick your whole head in there? Um, I think I know, what, I think I know <laughs> which <laughs> one is, uh, is American. <laughs> Is this going to be just putting your hands it's, over things? Again, it's just hovering your hand at a three, two, one. American size. Link, are you uh, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. I think this one, the biggie, biggie. That's that's normal. This is why I'm choosing this one. This is obviously. But I am American. Is that I think that this is normal for Americans, yes. and so I'm just guessing that maybe this is. Can I change my answer? No, I'm oh, not. You, you might be right. It's either these. It's one of these two. It's okay, be. this one. Let's take a look. American size, fifty percent more with the red stripe. So the American size is not. I mean, this is they they would yeah. flip a lid if they okay. saw this thing. Yeah, this yeah. is just like crazy Americans getting check this normal out. size mayonnaise to us. You flip that lid. <laughs> well, certain people in America refer to Thailand as Thailand, and others refer to it as Thailand. Yep. Restaurants and. Thailand, as I like to say, offer American-style dishes that might surprise you. For example, if you were to order American fried rice, or as it's known there, cow pad American, you would receive one of these two dishes. Cow pied American? Pad. Cow pad. Oh, good. Better. Okay. Well, this one is a Thanksgiving dinner, Link. Is that a sliced pork? Or ch you said that's turkey? And there's gravy around the outside. Now, when I was in Thailand, I did not eat anything that I thought would be American, including bananas. <laughs> bananas on the beach. And I don't know why I said bananas. Because you did eat them. Because it was corn. Corn, <laughs> yeah, right. You I can't what? even make fun of myself by remembering what, Sometimes I was, what I forgot. I get corn and bananas mixed up in my memories, too. This doesn't taste good to me. No, it's not. What is wrong with that? But this has fried chicken on top of Ugh. raisins? Is it, is it fish? No, it's not fish. I think it's just gravy. Ugh. But this one, yeah, that's... There's that's some chicken on top, fried, fried chicken. Fried chicken, which... And there's like hot dog pieces. Oh, look at what they did with the hot dogs. Not everybody can do that. Like it's like a carousel, parasol type thing. There's raisins in it too. Hmm. You see anything like this in Thailand? No, I didn't. But again, I wasn't looking. This suits my American palate more. But I'm just wondering if, if I'm supposed to follow the wiener. Is it wherever the wiener is, is where the Americans Especially are? with the wiener being this fancy. You know, you can get that done to your wiener. Ooh, rat. It's gross, man. Oh, it's like a, it's like a, pier yeah. it's a piercing technique. Just like. It's called fort. Uh, you ready to guess? You, <laughs> I'm ready to erase that conversation from my memory. <laughs> Three, two, one. Whoop. All right, see. I'm, I'm following the wiener. And I am going out on a limb here. I think this is just so limb. strange. Yeah. I thought the wiener would be up for debate because the correct dish is in front of Link. Oh, oh. yep. See, there it is. Okay, shoot. So I, ha I had um, to try to regain some ground. It has ketchup and raisins, hot dogs, spam, fried chicken, and or bacon. Uh, and let's take a look at this photo of the actual dish. You guys nailed it! Exactly the same. And there are actually a couple of stories of how this came to be. One was that it was created by Thai cooks using the uh, during the Vietnam War 
for American soldiers who wanted a taste of American home cooking. And another is that uh, Thai cooks observed what Americans ate with their carbs and simply added these ingredients to fried rice. Throw some raisins in there. Yeah. The Throw raisins some wieners in there. are a bit weird. As we've established, we've been making every morning a good mythical morning for two, two, yo, yo episodes oh, now. Oh. And we think that calls for a celebration. So yeah. we're celebrating for 22 hours only because that's the amount of time that you got to get this sweet commemorative 70s style tea in honor of that milestone. Get it before it's gone. Look at that. It's kind of yellow rings. So you can get past the Fritos here. Oh, yeah. It's it's very, um, it looks two, like. Two. Looks yo, like you yo. could be doing some jogging and like on at a camp. Do a little jogging out. Hey, camp! I'm a camping guy. That's cool, man. I gotta jog for 22 hours for be charity. Be a part of Good Mythical History. All right, go to mythical.com now to get this thing. If you're in Sweden, stop by the dis- disgusting food museum, which is also known as the disgusting food museum. Disgusting. It invites visitors to explore the world of food and challenge their notions of what is and what isn't edible. Some of the displays include beer served in a taxidermized squirrel, kazu marzu, which of course is the Ugh. maggot cheese, and a selection of American delicacies. Which of these three groupings of uniquely USA-made products have their own exhibit in the disgusting food museum? This hey, is ho- deep-fried butter. Hold it by this, the stick, man. Be bold. Oh, you're scared. You're scared of it. Okay. You gotta eat it fast. That's apparently. why I wasn't holding it by Deep the stick. Deep fried butter. Now this is also something that you're gonna wanna see. Fritos. Not just Fritos. Oh, is it, this is a Frito pie. It's a Frito pie. Yes. That is, and that's, I just made an upside down one. That's how they do it in South Carolina. <laughs> yes. This is, this is nice. I, gotta get I was gonna eat one of those, but I'm scared. And why are you scared? Red pickles? Is this a thing here? I mean, I think they're Kool Aid. Aren't they Kool Aid pickles? Oh, uh-huh. so they've been they've been remade for Kool Aid. Oh wow, they've been remade for Kool Aid. You're right. Um, we're definitely having more fun over here. These American boys are having more fun over here, because over here you just got A and W, Twinkies, and Pop Tarts, and then you got in a disgusting museum though. Four loco. Good gosh, this thing has 14% alcohol by volume. Hmm. Camouflage, red, white, and blue camouflage for loco. This is so basic. It's just, have they been, have they gone sensational? Have they gone accurate? That's the question. All right. Three, two, one. I think they've gone basic. I think they went sensational. Make it worth coming in. The food that's in the disgusting food museum is in front of Link. Yes. Ah. Well, hey, guys at the museum, you need to go here. Yeah, because this is gossip. Gossip? It's like, it's so awesome, it's gossip. Well, I see that you've got a root beer demonstration, and there's the Twinkie demonstration and the Pop-Tart demonstration. Look, they got those you little lights. You call them demonstrations or exhibits? Well, I think they're demonstrating that they exist in America. Yeah, they're exhibiting them by demonstrating them. Iconic American soft drink traditionally made with carcinogenic sassafras roots. That's what it says. <laughs> well, come on, hey! Whoa, now. We can only take so much shade, Is that sweetie. what's happening? In the Netherlands, there is a popular American sauce sold on shelves and marketed as a compliment to one specific food item, just as we Americans like it, according to them, that is. Which of these foods do the Dutch think we pair this American sauce with? You ever put anything that looks like this with anything that looks like this? Yeah, what is this stuff? Now we have a cheeseburger, fries, and some amazing looking chicken legs here. I I'm, wanna... I'm, I'm dipping, which I don't know if that's how you would do it. That's how I'm gonna do it. What's, what's that sauce like? Is it is it mustardy? I'd say mayonnaise and mustard mixed together. With flecks like of a, something. Like a dill? I gotta just use my finger What's the dill with the sauce? Now, I know that they love to French dip their fries. fries in mayo. Mayonnaise, because you watched Pulp Fiction. No, because I've been there. But first, you watched Pulp Fiction. And they have ads for mayo there, and they're always dipping it in fries, serving it on fries at restaurants. Chicken sauce. 
So why would they do it in fries? I'm just doing this to enjoy myself. But this is this is a fun little endeavor. Mayonnaise on fried chicken legs. I'm enjoying every bit of it. I love this. The question of is, of course, it's not honey mustard. There's no. That's what that's what we would normally do on. So if they would chicken. just if, it, like, because you're right, they put mayonnaise on French fries. So if they put mayonnaise on French fries and then they added dill and mustard to it, would they call it American? First of all, that's an amazing chicken leg. I was gonna say that I just learned the Mythical Kitchen crew made those from scratch. I, was I like, know. That is Lily, a plump Lily told me and delicious looking chicken Honking. selection. Amazing. Put your hand over the correct dish in three, two, one. Oh, why are you going with the burger? Because the fry is the fry seems too obvious to me because they already put mayonnaise on there and made it. You trying to make me feel dumb? No, it's it's got to be one of these two. I don't think it's the chicken. Ironically, I like this one the best. I'm just okay. thinking mustard and dill goes on burgers sometimes. So the image of the item is actually on the American sauce bottle, which is being passed into you right. Now. The American sauce It's bottle. French fries. <laughs> Mad, Mad sauce? Mad sauce. De originelle. I gotta say. Americans. You're doing the right French thing. To sauce. <laughs> Since 1995. Okay, y'all. It is anyone's game. Don't, don't, don't look under the cloche. That, that's the reveal. I don't know even touch it. Because maybe you're getting clues. Okay. Um. This final round is going to go a little bit differently. I'm going to show you a series of photos of actual American food sections and grocery stores. I love stores photos of American food sections. Around the world. Each image will have the same item blacked out, and you must guess what that one American food common denominator is. Okay. So we're going to start with a UK grocery store, and you'll find a mystery item next to the Jif peanut butter. I see that. Okay. Up next, we have two French grocery stores, and you'll find the mystery item beside the Skippy peanut butter in the first and the syrup in the second. Amérique du Nord. And we're oh, going to move crap. over to what? Dublin. Oh, we'll find the mystery item on the top shelf next to the sad selection of pumpkin pie fillings. Okay. And over to Amsterdam. Mystery item is sandwiched between the red velvet cupcake min- mix and the hungry jack pancake. What is mix. happening? Are you getting any clues here? Because it's like that's no. near the pancakes again. This is all baking stuff here, which is has nothing to do with like the peanut butter. Oh, I'm so confused. And lastly, we have a Spanish grocery store, and the item is on the second shelf next to what looks like cake frosting. Yeah, we got frosting. Dang, we got I was kind of moving towards cho- frosting. Chocolate syrup underneath. North Americano. What what could that be? All right, so sort of now thing. that you've seen all of the photos, you have whiteboards next to you, and I want you to write down what you think the mystery item is. What is this? I think you should write down Vegemite. Yeah, I think you should write down the other version. Marmite? Of Marmite, yeah. Oh gosh, this is this is Tough City. What? Taking a tour of Tough City. I had an answer. Right up until the moment that you just told me to say Vegemite and it left my brain. <laughs> oh my yes. gosh. I love it. That was great gamesmanship. It would have been awesome that. if I would have taken your answer because I still don't have one. Oh, hold on. I had an answer. What was it? Um, <sighs> but whatever. I, I don't feel great about this. It's not the answer that I thought of and then forgot. So Maybe you'll remember it when she tells you and you'll be like, that was my answer. I seriously Can don't. I have half a point? <laughs> yeah, hey, hey. If I, It was the thing that I thought of. Can I have half a point? Okay. Let me see. Who wants to go first? I'll go. I said marshmallows. I said Doritos. Okay, the answer's under the cloche. Oh. It's under the cloche. I it's forgot under the about cloche. the cloche. <laughs> oh! And jet fluff. Uh, marshmallow, marshmallow cream. Marshmallow fluff. Marshmallows. Uh, We're in that scenario where you're asking for half hold, a point. Hold on, but it's whoever got closest to the answer gets the point. Yeah, I mean, you clearly won, which means you won the whole thing. Yeah, There's Red, no you did good, man. There. I took your wrong answer, and you still don't remember what it was. I still don't, because I was right. And that was your fault, because I had a different answer, mm-hmm. and then I came up with a second answer that was correct. Or I blew it. close enough. I blew it. You ever eaten with Who the gets back? the prize? You ever eaten with the back end of a fork? Did you get it? Did you get the prize? Don't be shy. 
Look what That's I got. it? I'm not picking it up for him. I'm not. I'm not. Well, you're going to be set for a couple of months. Head first. Head first. Oh, it's just a... It's just a bag of mayonnaise. Boy, well, there's so much could go wrong right now. <clears throat> that burst, man. I'll see you at the park. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time, time it is. is. Hi, I'm Rob. I'm Steph. And we're in the middle of a North Carolina road trip. We're heading from the mountains to the coast, and we had to stop to get our Smithfields fixed. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Man, that wind will just whip it up in North Woo, Carolina sometimes. Can't do nothing wind. about it. Woo! Barbecue wind. Click the top link to watch us taste weird things people put in their soda in Good Mythical Morning. And to find out where the Will of Mythicality is going to land. Make every morning a Good Mythical Morning by grabbing the 2200th episode T. Available now for a limited time at mythical.com.